With scammers using AI online to exploit us and steal our information, it's more important than ever to protect ourselves and be careful of the data that we share online. Let's explore how zero-knowledge proofs can be used to protect our data and how it's revolutionizing the blockchain space. Zero-knowledge proofs allow you to prove that a statement is true without revealing information beyond the fact that the statement is true. You shouldn't have to reveal info about yourself, such as your name, your address, your date of birth, just to get entry to a club to prove that you're a certain age or even to prove your age at the grocery store. Details like this can be used to perform identity theft, but yet there are still so many examples where you give strangers your details when they really just need to know a simple truth. With a ZK proof application, you should be able to prove facts about yourself, such as your age, without revealing any sensitive information about you. Zero knowledge proofs is an attractive solution for enhancing your online privacy, but is also used in blockchain scaling and improving computational efficiency. So, for example, blockchains like Mina innovate with ZK proofs by using it to maintain their blockchain size to just 22 kilobytes. That is smaller than a college essay. Know that the Mina blockchain can prove that a transaction is true without knowing the transaction details. Because nodes don't need to store the entire blockchain history, the amount of data that needs to be stored and processed is significantly reduced. This makes it possible for Mina to maintain a tiny lightweight blockchain which can be stored on multiple devices, especially phones and IoT devices. There are actually different types of ZK proofs, surprisingly, and these are the factors that make them different. Proof size, verification time, setup requirements, transparency, and security. Mina uses a type of ZK proof called a ZK SNOC, which has a smaller proof size, fast verification time, but it requires a trusted setup process. When you make a transaction on the Mina blockchain, your transaction details are encrypted using a commitment scheme. And then a ZK SNOC proof, so now we're specifying the type of ZK proof, is created that proves that the transaction is valid without revealing any underlying information about the transaction such as the encrypted details. So then this proof can be sent to other nodes on the blockchain who can also verify that the proof is valid without knowing the transaction details. So what are some practical applications of ZK proofs? Feel free to comment some of your ideas. One example is a voting system. With ZK proofs, you could prove that you voted for a particular candidate without revealing who you voted for. DeFi applications can use ZK proofs to increase transaction privacy and security for users who want to keep their financial transactions private. In the area of digital identity with ZK proofs, it's possible to create a decentralized identity system which allows users to prove their identity without revealing any personal information. This can help prevent identity theft, fraud, while also providing a high degree of privacy for users, which is essentially what we would like to do as we all spend more time online, it's really important for us to protect ourselves. And we're not going to get away from creating transactions online, so it's very important that we have technologies like ZK Proof around to help us be more safe online. Blockchains are also using zero-knowledge proofs for faster transactions on the Ethereum network. As we know, the Ethereum blockchain is one of the most used blockchains, but we have to solve for throughput while also maintaining decentralization security. The way that's done is with layer 2 blockchains and one example is a ZK rollup. In a ZK rollup, a large number of transactions are bashed together into a single transaction which is sent to the Ethereum network. So instead of processing each transaction separately, the Ethereum network can now process this one batch of multiple transactions which is provided by the ZK rollup. Let's say you wanted to create a privacy preserving application or the voting app, then you would need to learn how to implement zero knowledge proofs in your app. Now, this concept is not a new concept, it's a cryptographic concept, and there's a lot of math involved. But thankfully, there is a library called Snarky.js, which the Mina blockchain provides, which allows you to create ZK apps on their blockchain. So that means you can create an application that preserves privacy, and you don't have to learn all the intricacies of zero-knowledge proofs. So if you'd like to know more, then check out their documentation. Also, I'll be creating more videos on this topic because I find this so exciting. I was actually a part of the ZK Ignite program where we learned how to build ZK apps. I'm very excited to share my knowledge with you. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below and let me know if you'd want to see a tutorial showing you how to build a ZK app or just the theory behind it. This is definitely going to be a hot topic in 2023 and beyond because even if we are talking about AI, about going to the moon, we are definitely spending more time online. So more solutions for protecting us online, such as privacy-enabled applications, are very important. Oh, by the way, I have more videos linked below about ZK Proofs and also check out some of the articles I've written about it. All right, see you in the next one.